Hello there, my name's John Mendez and we're just on the next part in our Yachtmaster series. This one's all about some of the things you should check, particularly in the engine room before you go afloat. I like to think of the engine room as having a top five for me. Our seawater that's going to cool our engines, our fresh water with antifreeze which is in them, our fuel system, make sure it's nice and clean, our belts on the front and then lastly a good look round to make sure we're happy with all the systems and any ancillaries that are fitted to this particular boat. Here we have the seawater filters. This is the new style, nice big clip which we undo, remove the band, lift the actual top off, and then we have the actual filter and on this one they're beautifully clean. So nothing to clean out there. If it was grubby we'd have to do a bit of a clean out. Then a little bit fiddly to get it back in. Drop that back inside. Inspect the rubber ring. Make sure it's not damaged. Seat that gently. Run a finger around the edge to make sure it's not protruding at all. Then on with the clip. Again a little bit fiddly. Just line it up all the way round. Twist it slightly so it doesn't catch on the uh, fuel filter. Close. Nice and secure. Fresh water this time but with antifreeze in. So first thing is always feel the top of the header tank, make sure it's not hot, otherwise this would be dangerous, could be a lot of pressure and heat in here. Unscrew, again take the cap off, put to one side and we can see here we're right at the top mark there and it's nicely green which means that the antifreeze is in the right proportions and it's not all dirty and rusty and horrible. Now we'll do the oil, this new style dipstick has a little catch, very important to undo it correctly. So just very gently lever it away and pull, slide the dipstick out. Now if you've got limited access sometimes you have to hold it with a tissue so it doesn't splash everywhere. Beautifully clean engine oil on this one and we'll give it a little wipe and then we'll plug it back in and very important now that we get it all the way seated so we get the right level. Undo again and now we can see the level there nicely at the top, absolutely perfect and beautifully clean oil. Fuel filters, um, we're going to check that we've got the right amount of fuel in the tanks which is done on the fuel gauges, you might have sight gauges on your tanks, make sure the uh, taps are open to supply the fuel to the engines, we're just going to take a little sample to make sure the fuel's clean. This type of filter has a filter in the top section which if you need to change you unscrew, take the top off, put a new one in and we can drain a fuel sample here by push and twist and we just get a little dribble of fuel out the bottom there a little bit noisy this one bubbling out nicely there turn let it drip and then we're just going to hold that up the plastic cup's great for this because we can see it's lovely and clear no bits and no water tremendous after the coarse filter we have the fine filter which is also our bleed point which is this little thing here and this is our lift pump so on this engine you press a few times and when it's ridiculously hard that's the fuel pressured ready for the system to run. The belts on this engine are a little bit interesting because they fitted the safety covers makes it much harder but by carefully positioning my hand I can feel the tension on the alternator belt there and additionally tension on the drive for the supercharger and they're nice and tight. Adjustment on this is much harder, We've got to remove the uh, casing before we can get there. Last on our list is our general look round. We're looking for a nice clean tidy build so any leaks can be spotted quickly and appropriate action taken and then I just check the other bits as a visual once over. So I've got the air filters down here just to make sure they're clean and not fouled. On this boat we've got a power assisted steering system so I've got an opaque container here with a level on either side of these engines in the rear corners we have the trim for the outboard legs again it's opaque and I can see the levels comfortably from here um, we also have our fire extinguisher system so it's a little glance at the gauge to make sure it's in the green and then very importantly make sure this travel pin is removed so that if you were to pull the system from the helm it would actually work and put a fire out <laughs> 